Hello everybody, my name is Deborah here in San Antonio, Texas, and um, I'm going to go ahead and let you know this story, and yes, you're going to think I'm nuts, but I'm really not, um, I'm pretty sure I'm fine, but um, this happened to me in 1993, I was 13 years old, and um, no, I was not a drug addict kid or nothing like that. Like, flying high and seeing things. No. I would always wake up in the night. We lived um on the far west side of San Antonio um, by Marbach and Penrose. And our house happened to be, there's like some streets and they're all like, um, you just go all the way down and you come back, back up. Like, you turn streets. So, I lived in one of those streets, and my house was towards the woods. And you would go out my backyard, like when you would go out the back door. Um, we had a yard, but from our yard was a very uh, wired fence. Um, pretty open. It was like one of those older fences, pretty open. Um, but that actually led out into the woods, into all the wooded areas. It's like a very big, very big piece of land that's like that. And, um, I will go out there, walk around, and just, I don't know, I just like nature so much. Um, so I would see deer, I'd see rabbits, um, I see different stuff. Sometimes I would see turtles because there was like the little river that passed back there. Um, I think it's Leon Creek, something like that. Um, and so I mean, we see stuff. I see snakes and stuff like that. Um, I say it we because I wouldn't go with my mom. My mom never liked that stuff. Anything that had to do with the woods and animals, she's like. But my neighbor, I had a neighbor, and she was just very in love with nature she would even go jogging there in the woods and even though you're not supposed to you're supposed to keep out and everything but you know still and um so sometimes i will wake up in the mornings very very early and this was um in the summer of 93 i would wake up early and it's just a habit wake up early and i will just go and look out the back sliding door and I just be looking out but I would always go very carefully very carefully because if you make any certain noise the animals would leave so I had to be very careful like even just walking into the kitchen and make sure nothing squeaked and then I would just take a small peek and I could see the deer laying down in the backyard and stuff and it was just fun looking at them laying down and suddenly I was like Fast, I hit the door and like boom, you just see all the deer running everywhere. Well, one morning I actually had a surprise. I did not see the deer. I ended up peeking very carefully, and what I saw was my mom had a uh, Monte Carlo, um, those older ones, the ones that are like all metal type, the older Monte Carlos. Okay, well, she had one of those Monte Carlos cars, and um, it was parked in the backyard, so I, don't, I can't tell you how tall it is, because I've never measured it, basically, but, I mean, you get the idea of how big a car is, especially if you see a Monte Carlo. Well, um, I just saw something like this, so, like, if I looked out from my window it looked like somebody was actually with their head down trying to get in through the passenger door and immediately I was like oh, oh crap. like someone's trying to break into my mom's car so I just stayed looking very carefully and like I said I mean this was like real early I mean real real early and um, I saw and I just stayed looking, and I just stayed looking to see in case I saw anybody else.
because I wanted to go tell my mom, but at the same time, I wanted to see how many people were actually out there. Well, to my surprise, it wasn't people. It moved. It moved away, and that's when I realized this thing I was looking at was not actually trying to break into my mom's car, but it was actually leaning its back against it. And I could see it walking because it was on the other side of my mom's car. So, of course, when I'm looking at it, I'm just seeing my mom's car, but it was on the other side of my mom's car. And I saw it walking around, and I was like, is it wearing a hood? Is it wearing, like, a long trench coat? Like, what is it wearing? Because it's pitch black back there. And my mom was not one to always turn on the light. So, you know, that electricity bill just kills you. So, um... I was just looking and looking and I just kept on staring and then all of a sudden it started walking and I still noticed it was like hunched and I was like the crap and when it finally moved out from behind the vehicle it went over here to the open space of the yard where I could actually see the full figure of it I could not believe my eyes. I was scared. I stayed looking, but I was so scared that I couldn't even move. I couldn't do anything. I mean, you can't, or well, I couldn't at least, like, not even run and tell my mom because I was just, like, <laughs> like a dumbass. Um, so I was just looking at it. It was a big black bird. Very big black bird. And it was wide. It was wide, but I mean, I will tell you, it was the size, like, of a person. It was, like, the size of a person because, I mean, obviously, it fit, like, the size of the car. But it was the size of a person, but it was wide. And I think that's why I thought it was wearing a church coat. <laughs> but it was actually because of the wings, the way they were down. And that's when I saw it, and I was, like, I could not believe the size of those feet or whatever, the claws or whatever you call those things. I could not believe how big they look. And I was just looking at it like in awe, you know. And I was like, it's still giving it back. It wouldn't turn around like towards the sliding door. So I kept on just looking at its back. I only got to see a peek of it like that. But I saw it walking down. So I don't know what it was doing until finally I was like just looking at it and I just very carefully, I was scared at the same time. I couldn't do it like the deer and just slam the window. It's just, I just like tapped it very carefully. I didn't do it real loud just to see what it would do. This thing had a head and the head wasn't like like a regular head, like, like a small neck like this. And, and it wasn't a no neck bird either. I mean, it had a neck. It's just that the neck was like, um, it was, of course, way thinner than the body because the body was like wide. But the neck was like, like flex. It looked like a, like a tube, but it wasn't a tube. I mean, it was just like a long neck. And that's why it was like this, like hunched, like a little. And when I went like that, that's when I tapped the glass and it just like, that's when I, and it looked towards me, and I was like, oh, so when it looked at me, I mean, it was a bird, no doubt, I mean, and I know a lot of people have said stories, and they've heard all these things, and they see aliens, and they see creatures, and they see chupacabra, and they see all this, uh, this was not no chupacabra, it was not no creature, no alien, no nothing from another planet, no, it was just a giant big black bird, that's all it was it was a big black bird it would did not have no teeth and it wasn't like with red eyes and going ah, nothing no it was just a big black bird that's what i saw and it looked at me and the minute it looked like it was like this is where it just turned and looked at me and when it looked it turned around and like the the claws it like hopped <laughs> towards the woods it started hopping and it was like and it just went up, and I was like, 
Whoa, I just saw those wings open up and I was like, and <laughs> I just stay looking at instead of running still, <laughs> I didn't open the, the sliding door, but I did put my head against the sliding door. I was like <laughs> trying to look like where to go and I could just see it. And when it went up, it didn't just go straight up or it didn't like take off like straight far away. No, it went up, but like in a spin. Like, if it ran, like, hopped or whatever the heck it did, it flew up, but it went, like, in a circle, like, like that. And it even made a sound like an eagle or something, a hawk, like, you know, oh, my God, I'm going to sound funny, but it's like, bing, something like that. <laughs> so, it went up, and once I saw it go up, I was like... Mommy, 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 mommy. I took out running in my mom's room. And, of course, my mom was, like, knocked out. And I woke her up. And my mom went right back to the backyard. And she opened the door. And she looked. And she didn't see nothing. And she was like, where were they at? And I'm like, by the car. It was by the car. And it was a big black bird. And she's like, maybe it was just someone trying to break into the car. And you were all asleep. And I'm like, I wasn't asleep. I was looking at it. And she was like, no, 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 you couldn't even see you. Her eyes were probably full of like, Anya, and I said, no, no miras bien. And I was like, I know what I saw when I was looking, and it was a big black bird. But yes, I saw the big black bird. It did not try to attack me. It did not try to do nothing. It didn't growl at me. It didn't have like extra heads popping out. <laughs> it didn't have nothing glowing, nothing, razor sharp teeth, nothing. It was just no human face. I didn't see nothing like that. All I saw was just a big black bird. That's all I saw. And I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, I have seen it, but I cannot come down with other people how they say they've seen this, 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 and this, and they see it with different faces, different... I mean, I cannot call nobody a liar because I wasn't there to see what they saw. But what I saw was a big ass black bird. Um, and I've even like just recently I was looking it up and I even saw one thing that said about something about some kind of a vulture or something. And it sort of does look like uh, that big vulture. <laughs> I was going to cuss. Sorry. But it does look like that big vulture. I mean, it was big. It had that head that like moves around, whatever. And. It walks like it's hunched because it's tilted to the front. It walks like it's hunched. And obviously, when I saw it by my mom's car, I thought it was trying to break in my like, god, oh, but it wasn't. <laughs> it, that's the way it actually has its body. <laughs> so I just never assumed it was a big black bird. I, I assumed, of course, like everybody else, it's someone trying to break in the vehicle. But that's my story. I don't know how many skeptical people I'm going to have on this. Um telling me anything but like I said I'm not making this up I'm not adding to the story I'm just saying exactly how I saw it and like I said this happened in San Antonio Texas my back and print road back in the summer of 1993 so bye-bye this is Deborah San Antonio Texas